the core of that project looked at two aspects. One was developing ingredient databases for our species, specifically those species that were that were going to have nutrient requirements um, put together. And then there was also a modeling group of that. And that's overseen by a coordinating committee. And so over time, that's exactly what's been going on. Um, the um, ingredient database for the swine was uploaded. It's now on our our website, and I'll give that here in a minute, maybe when we talk more about that. Uh, but the group that that I was have been involved with primarily on the feed composition side, we put together the um, databases for the beef, um, the dairy, and now the poultry one that's it's in progress. Um, and so the idea is that is that that's going to be a dynamic thing that's going to continue to grow. And so in future um nutrient requirement series come to be they won't have to spend all that time possibly a putting together ingredient database or putting together a model that's going to be used you know by the users because now all of the nutrient requirement series have models associated with them if you enjoyed this short clip from the podcast then you should really check out the full episode which you can find by clicking this link here take care everyone goodbye